وأقول في القرآن ما جاءت به آياته فهو الكريم المنزل وأقول قال الله جل جلاله والمصطفى الهادي ولا أتأول الحمد لله رب العالمين له الحمد الحسن والثناء الجميل وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له يقول الحق وهو يهدي السبيل وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وعلى آله وأصحابه والتابعين لهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد وإن ذي مظهر من مظاهر دنو الهمة We were speaking about ways in which low aspiration uh, is identified, it's known, it manifests We mentioned 13 uh, مظاهر, 13 different forms in which low aspiration comes about Inshallah ta'ala, today we're going to go into the 14th madhar min madahiri dunu al-himma. And that is kathratu talawumi wa qillatu al-amal. Excessively blaming and coming with little actions. And this is the da'bu kathirin min al-nas. Many people's ways is this. This is how many people are. Fijtima'atihim wa muntadayatihim. فتراهم يقضون الساعات الطوال في التلاوم. If you go to the gatherings of many people, if you look at many forums online, social media outlets like Twitter and Instagram, many people you find them they spend so many hours just blaming. وذم الأوضاع, criticizing the situation, والانتقاد الآخرين, critiquing and criticizing other people, والتشدق بمعالي الأمور دون سعي لها. And speaking about high aspiration without exerting any efforts whatsoever in it. Al-Allama Muhammad Al-Khadir Hussein Rahimahullah he said, فَإِذَا رَأَيْتَ قَوْمًا يَذْكُرُونَ فِي صُبْحِهِمْ وَمَسَائِهِمْ شَيْئًا مِّمْ مَعَالِيَ الْأُمُورِ He said if you see a group of people in the morning and in the evening, they mention the concept of high aspiration. وَلَمْ تَرَهُمْ يَسْعَوْنَ لَهُ سَعْيَهُ but you don't see them exerting any efforts whatsoever. وَلَا يَتَقَدَّمُونَ إِلَيْهِ بِخَطْوَةِ And they don't take any step forward in fulfilling and achieving that high aspiration. All they're doing is just talking about it in the morning and in the evening. فَعْلَمْ أَنَّ الْعَزْمَ لَمْ يَأْخُذْ مِنْ قُلُوبِهِمْ مَأْخَذَةِ Know that determination and conviction hasn't really become deeply rooted in their hearts. فَهُمْ إِمَّا أَنْ يَكُونُوا مَعَ حَقِيقَتِي وَشَرَفِ غَايَتِي غَائِبِينَ وَإِمَّا أَنَّهُمْ ضَلُّوا طَرِيقَهُ وَمَا كَانُوا مُهْتَدِينَ He said, it is either possible, إِمَّا أَنْ يَكُونُوا عَنْ حَقِيقَتِي وَشَرَفِ غَايَتِي غَائِبِينَ That what is absent from them is the reality of high aspiration. And the honor in achieving this goal, they really don't, that, 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 that is absent from them. They don't have that. That's one possibility. The second possibility, he said, is, وَإِمَّا أَنَّهُمْ ضَلُّوا طَرِيقَهُ Or maybe they've become misguided from the path of achieving high aspiration. وَإِمَّا أَنَّهُمْ ضَلُّوا طَرِيقَهُ وَمَا كَانُوا مُهْتَدِينَ And they were not guided to it. Ibrahim Tawqan, he said, أَفْنَيْتَ يَا مِسْكِينُ عُمْ رَكَ بِالتَّآوُهِ وَالْحَزَنْ وَقَعَدْتَ مَكْتُوفَ الْيَدَيْ نِتَقُولُ حَارَبَنِ الزَّمَنْ ما لم تقم بالعبء أن تف من يقوم به إذا كم قلت أمراض البلاد وأنت من أمراضها والشؤم علتها فهل فتشت عن أعراضها؟ he said أفنيت you spent your life يا مسكين أو you poor individual عمرك your life in what in complaining in being sad and sorrow وَقَعَدْتَ مَكْتُوفَ الْيَدَيْنِ And you've sat down with your hands tied back, saying, حَرَبَنِ الزَّمَنُ The time is fighting against me. You're blaming everything else but not yourself. مَا لَمْ تَقُمْ بِالْعِبِ أَنْتَ If you don't exert the efforts, if you don't take the responsibilities on your shoulders, فَمَنْ يَقُومُ بِهِ إِذَنْ Who else is going to stand up for this responsibility? كَمْ قُلْتَ أَمْرَاضُ الْبِلَادِ How long have you said the illnesses of this the problems, you've mentioned so many problems in your villages, in your towns, in the country, in the time. You've mentioned all of them. But really, you are part of the illness. 
Have you actually tried to work out where the, it's really coming from? What's causing it? So blaming without exerting the efforts. That is what we were trying to talk about here, which is التلاوم. the person he blames. But little actions he exerts. That is a madhar min madahiri dunuwul himma. People who type comments or who type in Twitter and Instagram and Facebook and they write and they blame everybody else. This is a problem. This is an issue. The, but nothing comes from you. Where's the action that you were meant to exert? If you saw a problem, why didn't you feel like I'm inshallah ta'ala going to fulfill that direction. I'm going to stand up for it. You blame everybody else, but not yourself. Yani you don't exert the effort and the hard work that is needed from you. Blame, whether it be yourself or anybody else, is not praiseworthy. Blame yourself if you're going to come with righteous actions. Yakin mujarrad al-talawum wa qillat al-amal is a madhar min madahir al-dunur himma. Blaming with little action, speaking about the honor of aspiration, how good it is to have high aspiration and glory and the honor of Islam and where, how, where Islam was, but you don't exert any effort in bringing that back. That's a madhar min madahir dunur himma. We're now going to go into the 15th madhar min madahir dunur himma, and that is kathra to shakwa ila nas, excessively complaining to the people. We find this present in many people who are always complaining to the people about their problems and what they have. And it actually has become min da'bihim. It has become who they are now. Wa daydanatihim. Wa hijirrahum. It's become who they are and everything about them. Ashakwa ila nas. Going out there and complaining to the people. Wa tasakhutu min al aqdar. Being angry with what Allah has destined for you, subhanahu wa ta'ala. فَلَا يُرْضِيهِ شَيْءٍ Nothing can please this person. Nothing can amaze him. So he goes and he complains to everybody. He complains about his poverty. He complains about his children. He complains about his wife. He complains about his riding beast. He complains about his garden. He complains about his, his work and his job. He complains about his manager. He complains about his friends. He complains about his associates. He complains about the weather. He complains about... His bed, he complains about everything. Spring doesn't make him happy. Autumn doesn't make him happy. Winter doesn't make him happy. Summer doesn't make him happy. Everything is angry. Everything is complaining about it. That is an indication of what Dalilul ala suqutul himma. That this person has a low aspiration. And he also has wada'at in nafs. This person has a very low personality. Wa tahammul. Now this person is not strong internally to take responsibilities. And what you need to understand, brothers and sisters, is This leads to the people disliking you. If you keep doing that all the time, people are not going to like you. And it, it becomes so bad that the people start to disbelieve you. And it can even get worse that the people become happy with your distress and your hardship and your pain. There was a saying I once read, 80% of the people in the world don't care. And the other 20% of people, they're happy that it happened to you. So what you have to understand is who are you complaining to? Who are you going out there to tell your problems to? Speak to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and tell him, this action of complaining to the people about your problems, this action itself, it brings about laziness from you. And it makes you weak. And it will never make you complete yourself. And it doesn't make you perfect your problems. So what is befitting for us? فَاللَّائِقُ بِالْمُسْلِمِ الْعَاقِلِ أَنْ يَتَحَلَّى بِالصَّبْرِ الْجَمِيلِ what is required from us is to adorn ourselves with good patience. Patience الذي لا جزع فيه ولا شكوى. Patience that there is not in it any 
جزع يعني كومبلايني يعني none of that is in it and if we want to complain and we want to go out that we complain to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we tell him our problems it is Allah we need to complain to not a human being وَلِهَذَا رَأَى بَعْضُ السَّلَفِ رَجُلًا يَشْكُوا إِلَى رَجُلٍ فَاقَتَهُ وَضَرُورَتَهُ فَقَالُ A man from the Salaf, he saw another man complaining about his problems and the harms and the suffering that he's going through to another person. And then the man from the Salaf, he said to him, Ya هذا, O oh you, Wallahi ma zitta ala an shakawta man yarhamuka ila man la yarhamuka. What you have increased in is to complain from the one who has mercy on you. You're complaining about the one who has mercy on you. And you're complaining to one who has no mercy for you. And the poet he said, وَإِذَا عَرَتْكَ بَلِيَّةٌ فَاصْبِرْ لَهَا صَبْرَ الْكَرِيمِ فَإِنَّهُ بِكَ أَعْلَمُ وَإِذَا شَكَوْتَ إِلَى بْنَ آدَمَ إِنَّمَا تَشْكُ الرَّحِيمَ إِلَى الَّذِي لَا يَرْحَمُ If harm afflicts you, be patient on it. Be patient the way that a noble person will be patient. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He knows your situation. Be patient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. al kareem the generous one. Allah knows your situation. وَإِذَا شَكَوْتَ If you complain. إِلَى بْنِ آدَمَ If you complain to the children of Adam. إِنَّمَا تَشْكُ الرَّحِيمَ إِلَى الَّذِي لَا يَرْحَمُ You're complaining about the most merciful to the one who has no mercy on you. And you're complaining about Allah who put you through this, the most merciful. And who are you complaining to? You're complaining to someone who has no mercy on you. With that being said, brothers and sisters, we have to sometimes complain to the people who are righteous. The poet, he said, Sometimes in life, you do need to go to and complain to لِأَحَدِ الْمُخْلِصِينَ أَوْ لِمَنْ يَهُمُّهُمُ الْأَمْرِ You might have to go and complain to a sincere individual or a person who can do something about this issue or someone who you want a sincere advice from. So you tell them a problem about your life because you want solution from them. Other than that, keep your situation in your life and your problems to yourself. 80% of the world don't care and 20% are happy that you're going through it. That's the saying they say. Allah alam if it's true, but it is something to think about. It is a, f a food for thought. Anything I might have said that was wrong or incorrect is for me and shaitan and Allah and his messenger are both free from it. Subhanakallahumma bihamdi. Ashadu an la ilaha illallah. Astaghfiruk wa atubu ilayhi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How can you do a two second action right now that will give you a share of the reward of everything we're doing on this YouTube channel. Simple. Like this video and click subscribe. Why? It will allow YouTube to recommend our videos to other users and imagine the huge amount of reward that could be waiting for you on the day of judgment if you did that with a sincere intention of spreading the deen of Allah. You'll be rewarded for every single person who benefits from one of our videos as a result of your like or subscribe. That's an easy two second action that you definitely don't want to miss out on. Do it now, click like and subscribe and don't forget to make that intention.